Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the links is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The concept of aliens is not real, it is a trick, and the people behind it are attempting to prepare you for the biggest dumbest hologram presentation the world has ever seen. Look at these videos. Can't I just shine a special large light up there from below to get that effect? That is how easy it is to fool people. Imagine the better technology they have to pull off something even greater. It begs the question. If I was in a UFO in the sky, why would I turn on my lights and move around like that unless I wanted to be seen? Are these CGI? Are they holograms? Are they real? It is not easy to tell. The safe bet is to assume they are man-made, not divine. These may be test runs to see how people would react. Their goal is to get rid of modern religions and atheism, and combine it into one religion that is seemingly undeniable, because of the advanced being visible in the sky. And they think you're stupid enough to fall for it. For anyone interested who hasn't heard of this, most people call it Project Blue Beam. Not sure how similar it is now to the original plan however. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The Mystery of Nimrod's Missing Treasure World Police Confiscate 650 Antique Gold Vessels and Jewelry we remember Iraq and the overthrow of Saddam Hussein. But few know that the Nimrod treasures of more than 650 gold pieces were discovered during excavations in the 1980s and were secretly deposited in the treasury of the Central Bank of Iraq. In the photos, US occupation soldiers opened the treasures and presented them to the people in 2003, then disappeared. This treasure is one of the greatest treasures of the ancient world and the history and civilization of Iraq. Sunken City Found Near the Coast of Cuba A group of Canadian researchers, led by Paul Weinswig and Pauline Zelitsky, discovered the ruins of the ancient city. Noteworthy, they found the sunken city 700 meters off the coast of Cuba, thanks to an underwater robot. Next, the researchers studied these images obtained by a robot. In particular, they have found the remains of monumental structures, including four large pyramids. Besides, they discovered parts of monument that in shape resembles a sphinx and several monoliths with inscriptions. According to Pauline Zelitsky, the town belongs to the pre-classical period in the history of civilizations of Central America and the Caribbean islands. The ruins are at least 1.5 to 2,000 years old, experts believe. However, they don't reject it more ancient origin. The Strength of Longman In southwest China on a high slope of Lois in Hejin City, there is a construction that has never been an investigation by authorities to discover its origin. The top of this formation is flat as an airport runway. Even more curious is the huge stone frame door in the middle of the cliff. Who built it? For what purpose? 
Even though you are in ruins, you can still feel a magnificent and enigmatic aura of this structure. Chances were raised that it would be a construction of the anti-flourish period. It is believed that this is a self-defense building with only one door left. There are internal underground passages connecting up and down in mazes that were little explored. The work to build itself was really huge. What really causes the lunar and solar eclipse? In Vedic astrology, Rahu and Ketu cause the eclipses. This should be known by everyone, but instead we get utter nonsense explaining them away. Astronomically, Rahu and Ketu denote the points of intersection of the paths of the sun and the moon as they move on the celestial sphere. Therefore, Rahu and Ketu are respectively called the north and the south lunar nodes. Rahu is responsible for causing the eclipse of the sun and is known as the sun eater, as in the depiction shown even in stone. What do you think about this? Eighteen sixty four, April second, Otago witness. Human fossils in California. From the Australian New Zealand National Archives. The article describes a series of ongoing excavations being conducted in the state of California, specifically in a region where it is alleged that a number of giant relics and skeletal remains have previously been unearthed. A cave there depicts giant people who came to California from the north. In Bedgert's history of the California Peninsula, it is claimed that Radia's discoveries were transferred to a college of the Jesuit order, either in Italy or Bavaria, prior to the expulsion of the Jesuits in 1767. In his book, Clavigero also remarks that the first inhabitants of New Spain, also called California, were men of gigantic proportions. He names the locations of some of the giant remnants as Toluca and Quinbissimilpan. Reported from the Sank Rapid Sentinel December 1868. Laborers employed on a dam across the Mississippi River discovered a skeleton. It was found embedded in solid granite, seven feet below the surface of the earth. The paper says. The grave was 12 feet in length, 4 feet wide, and about 3 feet in depth, and is today at least 2 feet below the present level of the river. The remains are completely petrified and are of gigantic dimensions. The head is massive and measures 31 and a half inches in circumference. The femur measures 26 and a quarter inches and the fibula 25 and a half inches, while the body is equally long in proportion. From the crown of the head to the sole of the foot, the length is 10 feet, 9 inches. The measure around the chest is 59 and a half inches. The giant must have weighed 900 pounds when covered with a reasonable amount of flesh. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end. I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.